Hey guys, and welcome back to Auction Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are playing the Spaced Out DLC. You can tell by the way, we've got lots of asteroids that we can go visit, but that is not our deal for today. No, indeed. If we come back to this planetoid, I was saying last time that, hey, now that we've got power sorted, now that we've got water and a bunch of oxygen sorted, maybe, maybe it's time to start thinking about more heat resistant materials. If we come into this uh, battery over here, you can see that it's got an overheat temperature of 75 degrees. Most things have an overheat temperature of about 75 degrees. I say about, almost everything is exactly 75 degrees. There are materials though, materials that you can build equipment out of that will enable you to go a little bit hot, hotter than that. If I had some gold amalgam, we could go all the way up to 125, but I have my, my sights set a little bit higher than that. Let's come into the supercomputer and have a look at all the different research that is available to us. There is a whole a bunch of stuff here, but the one that I'm particularly interested in is this uh, solid materials come down to the smelting now we've got some some nice equipment on the way fire pole to enable us to go uh, down uh, ladder well it's not down ladders down the fire pole really quickly and we've got a temperature shift plate to help us smooth the temperatures out that is indeed something we're working towards but we need this smelt uh, this smelting the metal refinery if we actually want to have good returns on our materials because right now at the moment we can use this rock crusher we take a little bit of copper ore and we can put 100 kilograms in bam we put 100 kilograms in but we only get 50 kilograms of copper out the other side with 50 kilograms of sand now don't get me wrong sand is very important but if we were to use the smelter which we can't look at in the bar like down there uh, uh in fact we can't I'm, I'm gonna have to show you when we actually get it but the smelter would you believe it gives us a hundred percent return not just the 50 percent that we've got right here now whilst uh, Pl uh, max plank over here is gonna go through and try and get all that research done for us hopefully quite quickly uh, i've got i've got a thing over here look at look at this let's Let's try and sort this out. I do not want to have. Let's let's move all these wires up and around, and uh, let, let's go. Let's go through here like this. I don't want to have this stuff here. There, there's no reason to have it. Maybe we could keep the light, but I I don't think we're gonna do that. So just everything go. Everything going at all. We're gonna keep the oxygen vent obviously, but we're gonna turn this area into a recreation area for everyone. I'm gonna grab a door. Oh, no, the door goes there. Uh, a few tiles. All right, brilliant. This should now be a nice silver off space where we can do all sorts of things too but more importantly i want to come into the room overlay and i want to have a look for this recreation room as you see we've got a whole bunch of requirements that we need recreation buildings no industrial machinery the decor item needs to be there uh, and a room size between 12 and 96 well i can tell you that a room size of uh, 5 by 13 is less than less than that it's over 12 less than 96 you know, I don't like these wires being led across there. I'm going to take these granite tiles and I'm going to replace it with granite tiles. I oh, know, beautiful. And then we're going to come across the bottom here and just kind of sneak in like that. That, sh that should be much better. The reason that I'm not such a fan of exposed wires, if we come down here and I have a look on the decor overlay, that's this uh, green and red thing that we've got going over. It's how nice the duplicates feel the area is around them. And if we have a look at the tooltip that comes up here, you can see that the negative value for the wire, only three bits of wire doing 13.5 negative decor there. So if I could get rid of all of that that would be great this one's pretty good because it's like so far under that most duplicates aren't exposed to it we do have wire back here though maybe we could deal with that i don't know it is it is causing some troubles here I don't know if that's that's better. We're gonna, we're gonna try it. We're gonna we're gonna figure it out. See what happens. Wow! All the advanced research has been done already. We're just waiting for people to come along and drop off the dirt. Why not? Plank. He's on it. Okay. He's coming over this way to grab the dirt. What do we do? We not have dirt in our in our hole here. I I have no idea how to check. We can we can click through, but who knows whether it will show us or not? It looks like not. Oh, there was some dirt. I I didn't see what how much there was. Five point one tons of dirt. Okay. That that's actually quite a lot of dirt. That's actually quite a lot of dirt. Okay, everywhere has been tidied up and hopefully that is now a secure room for us to use. Let's pull this up. Okay, we are looking to add some things to this. Uh, we need a recreation building of some description. Let's have a look at our furniture and see what we've got. Ah, jukebox. Sounds pretty good, but I think the water cooler might be an easy way to uh, to build this up. Let's, let's throw this one down. The reason I'm not doing the jukebox straight away is we've just removed all the power from this system. Maybe... Uh, all right, let's do it. Let's let's put a jukebox in. I'm I'm kind of about it. Uh, we're gonna go for you. To, uh, wait, wait, wait. I know where it is. We were literally just looking at it. Jukebox. Okay, we slam that down in the middle. I'm gonna take the uh, the tile that no the the wire from here. I was gonna try and grab it from underneath the tile, but it wouldn't let me. And just slap that in like that. Hopefully, that is now a thing that can be done. And if I have a look at the room overlay, ah, uh, we're still not there. What are we missing? A decor item of some description. Are you kidding me? Decor? Really? Okay, I think we can do that. 
Okay, I'm going to start with a bunch of crown moulding here. I am, however, going to need the ladders uh, to be brought back. Have, have we got granite everywhere, or are we doing sandstone? I don't know. You know what else I don't know? We, we can't go up the edge here because the jukebox is a little bit too close, so I'm going to get rid of that and move it over one. So we were there. Let's go here. Uh, this should now enable me to put, yes, the, some ladders down. All right, that's, that's brilliant. Whilst Madame Curie is going around and fixing this whole place up to make it super, super nice for all the duplicates, I've noticed over here that it is another auspicious day. We can get our briar seed and plant it down in this th this little wall pot here. We are slowly, slowly but surely creeping some good temperatures up through the base here. Uh, this is actually how I'm going to deal with all the, the, the hot temperature coming from the metal refinery. I'm just going to dump as much of the temperature into this water as possible so that it can percolate through the base. This is only going to be a short short-term solution because obviously if we just kept on pumping heat into the water we could very well end up with steam everywhere and that's not what we want but we do have pretty chilly water being fed in well it's about 20 degrees actually okay well it's not that chilly but we've got very chilly water up here that's trying to be melted and dropped down uh, i don't know whether you guys are actually aware of why i'm trying to melt all this water rather well all the ice and snow into water rather than digging it up uh this tile here has let, let's just pick one at random we could we could probably do this i need to be able to find somewhere without some ice under let's let's do this one over here shall we we could probably get madame curie up here i'm gonna dig this and i'm gonna actually turn it up really high so we can see yeah curie's on her way the thing to take note note of here is a 923.9 kilograms here okay 923 let's just call it 930 okay we'll have a look at the ice now 461 kilograms yes that's right it's half you lose about half the water or half any material when you dig it but if you melt it you get all of the material hence why i'm trying to to melt all of this water and snow and ices here because i i want to get all of this not just half of it Okay, we've got some decor uh, items being built there. Yes, look at that. We've got a morale bonus from the, the, the recreation room here. This should mean now that all our duplicates for coming to our skills have so much more morale than is the uh, the requisite for their skills. So the red bar down the bottom is how much they, how many morale they would like to be happy because of the number of skills they've got. And the green bar is the morale that they got in the past 24 hours. Which means we can have people like Rutherford here having a all of the both of these uh, training lines completely filled out and actually he's doing all right he's uh, got a morale of 13 but only needs 11 that, that's great that's perfect and that's even gonna go up because he's not had the recreation room before now with the recreation room done, I was kind of hoping that Max Planck here would at least get on with a little bit of research, maybe finish that first research that we had done up, but it turns out that he's going around storing a whole bunch of materials around. That is also fine. I would have preferred it if he had gone around and done the research first though, but that is a part of the priority system that I have set up here. As you can see, very important to store. I might bring the supply down and bring the store down so the research is up highest. Tidy storing. Yeah, sounds great. That's, that's what we want him to be doing. Let's have a look and see what his priorities here at this point research seems to be pretty high and then he's got a whole bunch of stores and repairs and stuff like that underneath okay that's that's good that's good Okay, I see a little divot here. I think I'm going to try and squeeze all of the water out and put up a new wall here so we can try and get the metal refinery turning over in this space. I think that will probably be the best for our short-term solution. Our long-term solution will... Oh, you did, that, you did that the wrong way around. Oh my god, all right, let's deconstruct that one and set the priorities a little bit more smartly here. Okay, for those wondering, I do believe the pitcher pump actually managed to deal with the wire, or at least it's so low down that it's not giving us a negative decor. I kind of like that. We've got this little bit of wire here, that's fine. This whole area here is actually pretty bad. It's got the bottle empty here, all these, wire, uh, all these uh, ladders, the wire. Yeah, it's pretty bad, but over here, pretty good. All right, that's our first research done. We've got the fire pole, we've got the temperature shift plate, and we've got the ladder bed. Ladder bed is something for the rockets. We'll, we'll get there eventually. We just need to get past all this magma. Something else that we can get on whilst we're waiting for all of the uh, materials to be ready down below is, of course, trying to automate our power system a little bit more. This storage bin is storing all the coal. Indeed, every time that there is a, a, an opportunity to, Bohr will come along and move the coal from here into this storage bin. It is like his one purpose in life. He, he moves stuff around, makes stuff nice. But we've got an auto sweeper. We could slam down an auto sweeper here. And as you can tell by the white blocks all the way around it, it can reach both the bin down below 
and all of these generators, there is a little bit of a problem. We're running a power, oh, no, wrong one. Running a power system through here that gets uh, connected to that. I want to disconnect those like so. We're going to disconnect the automation wire. And then if we come down, I've also got this wire bridge, which means it doesn't actually touch the auto sweeper. All right, beautiful. Okay, the wire bridge, nice and easy to get done. But if we come to the auto sweeper, Franklin is the only person who can actually do do build do the build. She's the only person with the skills. Ah, oh, and if we turn it off of uh, the alarm, it turns off. If we come into the skills, we can go to Franklin here and see that she is the only one with the mechatronics engineer. She does carry and tinker and like does the operations, right? But the mechatronics engineer is the only one who can deal do with the builds. Now builds don't happen that often, so I'm all right running it via the power of the alarm for now. Maybe at some point we'll swap Franklin over to a builder and see if that's something we can change. Okay, the auto sweeper is now live. Is it going to put stuff in the coal generators? I mean, may maybe when they're when they're actually turned on again. Okay, we waited all night, as you can tell by the small break for the auto save there. For this to come down to 10%, it starts firing back up. Oh, there we go. Auto sweeper has fired up, starts filling up the coal generators again. Okay, that 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 is very good. Very good indeed. I've got a feeling this is the only one that got filled up because its fuel request threshold is set to 100% where the others are low. Uh, it's 100% of the battery life, not the amount of fuel that it's got in there, as I thought the other episode. Uh, so today we learned, well, the other day we learned, uh, let's turn this down to 80. Let's put this at 50 and this one at 30, just so we can have a staggered use. This one should only come on as and when it is vitally important. Oh, here's Boar. What's he doing? Oh, tidying up. Okay. Okay, so the tiles got built, the water got pushed out, and now we've got a nice solid line between us and the water there. Still waiting for the research to roll in. It is getting done, but it's taking a while. But we're going to carry on making this place so that it can contain the smelter, the, the metal refiner, at some point in the future. I suppose I could go through. Do we have plumbing? We don't have the radiant liquid pipes. I don't want to. I don't want to shift focus. So I won't for now, but if we come down to the liquid area, you can see that in part of the liquid tuning, we have some radiant liquid pipes. This ex uh, enables the liquids inside the pipe to exchange the temperature with the gases outside the pipe as fast as possible. So maybe after we've done our refinery, we'll do this one. I also want the thermal aqua tuner. Yes. Thermal aqua tuner, of course, part of a uh, healthy temperature modulation system. This guy throws out a bunch of heat. You pump, you pump some liquids in, it throws the heat out and then put that in combination with where is it over here the renewable energy steam turbine which we're going to need another type of research for but the steam turbine will then uh, process the steam that the thermal aqua tuner would make if you were to sit it in water the steam goes in cold water comes out i mean chillier water comes out it's still about 90 degrees but that that would be how you deal with temperatures pump hot stuff in turn it to steam cool it down that's for a future much more prepared Twitchy to deal with. Boiling up that last piece of dirt, that is the re the uh, research we've been waiting for, the metal refinery and metal tile. We'll deal with the metal tile at some point, but I'm going to come into the refinement here, click down on this. You can see that I've already got a little wire in place to come up and into it there. Okay, so this is cool. The metal refinery, what does it do? Well, as I'm sure you can guess by the name, it refines metal from these crude base ores that we've got with their weak temperature resistance into a well i mean i say the refined metals have better temperature resistance it's actually only the steel that has a higher temperature resistance and for that we're gonna need some lime so the metal refinery i've already showed you that it needs to take some ore inside it but what else does it need to do well we need to deal with some liquids here to run the metal refinery we need some coolant if we look at the copper for instance you can see as well as taking the copper in and making decor the, the differences and stuff like that there's also a heat generated down the bottom here now for copper it's not too bad if water is used for the coolant the temperature would be raised by 19.2 degrees 19 degrees is not bad we could deal with 19 degrees uh, if we go for the iron though i mean that's a slightly larger number 32 degrees turning iron ore into iron is quite an intensive process i do understand that but still still is much more into it, it will take take that water and raise it by 56 degrees if we have water above 40 degrees that's getting close to boiling so we're gonna have to try and do something with that and i think what i'm gonna do I, normally i would love to make the 
Uh, what have we got here? The radiant liquid pipes. As you can see, I've already set the research up ready to go. But the problem with the radiant coolant pipes is they need refined metals to be able to function. We don't have refined metals because that's what the, ref uh, the metal refinery is about. So what I'm going to do actually is to come into the plumbing, grab some uh, insulated pipes first to take us to the side of the tank here. Now let's have a look. It's going to come out this way. Let's go down this way like so. And then I'm going to get some obsidian pipes. Obsidian pipes are some of the ones with they're most thermally reactive. If they're thermally reactive, it means that they're going to take in the heat themselves and then give it back out to the water. We're going to try a nice run like this. I could see us having troubles of actually running out of water uh, for this top layer that I'm putting in. Uh, and then it just starts heating up the air around. But do you know what? We are in a cold base. I'm kind of okay with that. And whilst we watch the duplicants put this pipe work together through the power of excessive alarm systems, I'm going to take this moment right here to thank every single one of my patrons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you can see a list of names, a list of names of people that have taken the time out of their day and the money out of their wallets to support me in what I am doing here. Each one of these people have decided that this travesty that I call a YouTube channel deserves to exist and thus gives me a little bit of monetary compensation to take the time out of my week, three to four hours every week at a minimum to make sure these videos come out and are presented to you. So if you have enjoyed what's been going down, please take a moment to thank these people as I will also take a moment to thank them. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, so now we've got our fancy pipes and we're going to use a liquid pipe, a liquid pump to pump, fill the uh, metal refinery with that. What about this iron you've been talking about, Twitchy? You say you need iron for it, but if we have a look around, there's just copper and wolframite and more copper. I, I'm not seeing much iron going down. Well, no, on this particular asteroid, there is not one. But if I come out of this materials overlay and click on a Pyaxlin, I think that's how we're pronouncing that, and then come back to the materials overlay. And look at all these oranges. This is not this is not iron ore. This is absolute iron. We can turn this straight into uh, into steel without really having to worry about it too much but if that's if that does run us dry we also have a whole bunch of iron ore waiting to be taken all around this map It's literally everywhere it's amazing it's going to be a little bit difficult to get into places but that's not going to stop us it's definitely doable i mean look at look at this pocket here there's loads also incidentally whilst we got the metal refinery up and running literally just got it going a smooth hatchling leg has been played, uh, been laid. Now this is a little inconvenient. If I if I come to the hatches and go to their database, the smooth hatches. I mean, there were something I was going to be looking into. Definitely something that I wanted to uh, turn my hand to. So the smooth hatch it eats lots of different types of ore and excretes 75% of the of the uh, material per cycle. I mean, like that that's that's crazy. That is crazy. No um no waste products I noticed. No no sand. Okay, that, that that's a thing, that's a thing. Unfortunately, this poor little guy is just going to starve, because, yeah, fair enough, I've got enough ores to be putting into uh, various machinery and stuff, but I don't have enough just to watch disappear into a hatch. Okay, the liquids are being picked up, put into this pipe here, and being dumped into the uh, the metal refinery here. 18 degrees. I want to add th this, this steel. Oh, this is the one that we want to do, so that's going to take us up to 56, 60, 70, 74 degrees, wow. But whilst that's busy filling up, shall we send Curie over? Let's go see if we can go dig up some of the uh, the iron. We might end up having to send back a whole bunch of food over to keep, keep Curie up and running. But for the moment, I think we just need to go and dig up the iron. We need to get the iron and we need to put the iron into storage. Ooh, and off we go. Landing down hard on the other side, but looking good, looking good. Right, that iron. Where there, there's some iron before we even get going. What? Where's Curie going? What, what are you doing? Oh, you're mopping. Okay, I, I suppose. Let, let's let's watch her and see what's going on. Look, there's some iron. There's some iron right there. There's there's loads. Okay, that that's cool. Just gonna do this dig as well, but that's fine. Look, here's more and more. Great. Okay, hopefully right now Curie's on her way to send some of the iron over. She's, uh, she needs to go and charge some power, but that, that's good. The major problem we've got here is this place is full of chlorine, like full of chlorine. I don't know how we're going to keep this place safe for her. Uh, there's, there's, there's a lot of water, so we could build a self-powered oxygen machine, but I don't... I don't think that's the play right away. Okay, so the play is to let Curie run back and forth and load up this uh, this 
a conveyor loader. What? What? She keep dropping. I'm not sure what she keeps dropping, but we'll we'll let her do that. Once she's got the full load in there, we're going to set an alarm to get her to generate the power. Uh, I mean, it looks like maybe she should just end up doing that anyway. We've got to generate power there. What's the second? It says one more. What's the other one? Maybe this guy. Is this also an? Eight? No, that's low down. I, I don't know. Okay, this is the last load before the conveyor loader is full. Is she immediately going to run onto it? Beautiful. And then the conveyor loader gets emptied out. She might need to run away to grab breath, but that's all right. That little bit of battery might be enough to empty the entire loader out. I'm not sure, but I think we might actually have it. Okay, that, that's cool. We're just going to let Curie do this for a bit. She's not stressed yet, so that's cool. Almost an entire one battery was almost exactly the right. Okay, that, that's, that's cool. That's cool. So back on reverse, Lynn, we should now be able to go iron to steel and just kind of turn... Refined carbon. I knew I was forgetting something, but refined carbon's not uh, a deal breaker. That should be able. We should be able to do that with the kiln over here. Now, where can I build it? That is a different question. Does the kiln give off char? Uh, give off uh, carbon dioxide? That's the question I've got right now. Let's come over here and have a look. No, actually, it's just a bunch of heat. I I'm okay with that then. Okay, using the power of the excessive alarms, I've managed to get the duplicates that have been left behind to build a kiln. We're going to turn the, refi the refined carbon just just on for now. Uh, let's let's go up to twenty and see if Franklin over here is going to deal with it. St still moving the iron. Okay, that's that's cool. Still moving the iron. Yes, indeed. Straight straight on to the uh, the refined carbon there. Beautiful. So this should then start to make this good is that is the refined carbon the only thing we're looking for okay so that's all the materials delivered who's going to be fabricating it looks like maybe franklin herself is going to fabricate that that would be pretty cool okay here we go it's noisy it's loud but i think we're doing okay i should probably turn this pump off now can we deconstruct it let's deconstruct it i think that's a good idea we've made our first steel Ah, uh, that is amazing but the thing that i really want to know is what temperature is this water coming out at you know this the this liquid pump here it's going to cause us some troubles if we don't get people moving uh so uh, 71 degrees oh we, we might actually be in a fair amount of trouble this is not shedding its heat as quickly as i was hoping it would mm, okay i don't know how we can even fix this at this point well i mean we fix it by leaving it in the water for a little bit yes obviously <laughs> Okay, it's somewhat fixed, but it's not fixed well enough. We need to empty some of this out. Also, let's go check on Curie again. Uh, she's managed to get another load of iron through. She's got enough calories to keep going, but the question, of course, is the oxygen going to hold out? I don't know. We're down to like 400 grams. Okay, the steel is being made, but we do have a few problems. First off, it uses over a thousand watts all on its own. Uh, this wire can only go up to a thousand watts, so we need to put in a, uh, a, a refined line over here. So that, that's nice and easy. The biggest problem, of course, is the fact that the pipes just aren't emptying out. Uh, I do have a, a plumber out there somewhere, but Bore is a little bit busy let's uh let's get him on it let's let's make it happen we've got enough calories to see us through we've even got a load of barbecue look beautiful uh so we should be able to just sit here until this isn't complaining about an output output full anymore okay i think we're there it's just holding on waiting for material so i've asked Bo to stop is anybody gonna come along and do this i don't know maybe franklin supply okay that's that's a thing uh, you can supply this all you like but i'm really worried i mean the temperature's coming down we're at 49 but a lot of this is still quite warm let's press the button see what temperatures we got oh look at the kiln going away make it making some really tasty temperatures here still not quite doing what i would have liked it to though which is to dump all its heat into the water very, very quickly. We're, we're going to need those refined materials for that. So uh, let's stop this one and instead go for some copper ore so that we can then put the radiant copper pipe, yes, like this, through here. Okay, back on Pyaxlin, the uh, oxygen situation is getting pretty dire, pretty dire. So we're going to let Curie go around and do this last load. As you can see, she's busy filling up the conveyor loader over here. Uh, so once this cycle has been done, we will send her home. Is she going to get done in the cycle? I think she will be done in the cycle. Okay, this is the last load. We'll grab her batteries full. This should be enough. It's not going to be a full battery, but that's enough to send it through. Uh, I'm going to pause and come on up to the, uh, the teleporter here, ask Curie to make her way to there we do of course need to come over here and take advantage of this asteroid at some point there's a lot of really nice stuff to actually take advantage of from oil and chlorine gas uh 
chlorine geysers. That's what I'm trying to say there. There's a, uh, a natural gas geyser somewhere. And of course, this cool steam vent that just keeps on spewing water forth. We need to take care of all of those. Where, where's Curie? What's she doing? She's gone to bed instead. Okay, fair enough. I, I really think you'd have a better time back over the other way. Go on, Kira, you've been woken up because there's no out there, uh, no oxygen for you to breathe here. Are you going to go and get in? No, no, you're going to have a bit of a lie-in. Okay, no, go go get in the teleporter. Let's go, 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 go. All right, and away we go. Hit the button. Ooh. All right, nice, nice. Before the day even begins, Curie is here to come along and try and fix all this mess that we've got down here. Just, just look at it, horrific. Okay, so we've got some of the uh, radiant pipes going in here, and as you can see, the moment, the very moment it gets put down into place, the temperature in the pipe just, just drops, just drops. Hopefully it's enough to influence this in a positive way. I sure do hope so. You might think with the metal refinery, we do not need the rock crusher anymore, but we actually still need to make lime from eggshell and fossil. So we're going to have to keep these around for just a little bit longer. Also, having a way of making sand is always nice. Oh, this ladder is totally not needed. Okay, so we're making copper at the moment. It's coming out at 50 degrees. And by the time it's done through the run, it looks like we're coming back in at 30. It'd be nicer if we were coming in at 20, if I was to be honest with you, because that means we would then be temperature... Uh, uh, neutral but uh, we just need to get some more copper in there I think okay round two 46 degree water that's colder than last time that's good maybe maybe we're on uh, onto a winner here uh, let's see what it's at when it comes back round it still takes a little bit of time to come through all of this 22 I will take that most definitely is it gonna is it gonna drop down any lower before it gets back to this point over here I kind of think that it will not 22.4 okay that's that's cool that's cool we're actually to the point of having just a few bits left okay I'm gonna just snake my way back here when it's all replaced by radiant pipe I will bring you back Okay, so the pipe has finally been done. Oh, I really thought Franklin was going to come in there. I have asked for an iron to steel order to be done because that is the one that pumps another, the most heat out into the system. And I really want to see what happens. Thankfully, the next one after she very helpfully helps out with the uh, the millwood harvest there is to come along and do the steel. Okay, let's, let's watch this happen. I'm particularly interested in the liquid that comes out from it. It is the, cooling li the coolant liquid. Uh, we currently have a whole bunch, 20s... Uh, and yeah, it's all coming through at 21 degrees at the moment. Uh, I think that's the, uh, the the temperature of the water out here. For now, press F6. Yeah, here we go. So we got 74 degree water coming out, but it's almost instantly dumping the majority of its temperature into the water here. Is it raising temperature? It is, but not too fast. Okay, that's fine. I'm mostly interested as to what's going to happen with all this. Maybe next time it does a cycle, we should clear it out to, to this point here. Of course, it's not too bad that it holds in place because of course all this water will be just dumping all of the energy that it's got inside it into the into the water that we've got down here mostly in the hope of trying to warm all this area up maybe at some point we'll run a, uh, a warming loop up and down this main corridor i think that'll be a great plan but i'm afraid right now i'm gonna have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen i will see you guys next time where i think it's time we started thinking about who's gonna go to the next uh, next asteroid we've got a whole bunch of stuff we want to do here we want to try and tame this water supply we also want to try and take over the oil biome over here there's also a natural gas geyser somewhere we saw it somewhere or I could be crazy. But anyway, there's a whole bunch of stuff we want to take over on this place. And I think it's time to start thinking about that. But I will see you then or when we're going to do that. Bye.